Right, I'm gonna give you for free two bits of advice in life. One, don't eat yellow snow. You can work that out. <laughs> Camera's gone. Right, second bit of advice. If you're in water and the water level is above your doors, don't open your doors. Get out through your window, possibly your tailgate, because otherwise you're gonna be in a world of pain. Now, someone who shall remain nameless has this problem. They open their car door, their defender, and water went in over that, and then it flooded in, and we're gonna have a look in the back here. And this infotainment system is kaput. So they've said to me, Simon, I'm sort of pooped. Can you try and source one of these for me? And do you know, Simon, if it needs to be coded to the vehicle, and if it works? Now I've got this one, actually, I looked at the part numbers, and it's a bit weird, because, this part, this engineering part number, I can't look up on JLR, normally I can. So I got this out in Evoke too. So in years to come, I'm sure people will be trying this. So I'm gonna try it first. So we are gonna take our perfectly functional Land Rover Defender L663, and we are gonna disconnect every connection off the back of this infotainment system. We'll show you where it is under the seat. And then we'll have a look what works and doesn't work. And according to the person who can't be named, he was dead impressed because loads of stuff that you might think wouldn't work still does, all the terrain modes and everything. So so that's cool. And then we're going to see if it fits in. But, you know, will it do weird things? Will I get, like, will the 360 parking cameras give me pictures and never evoke, which would be kind of weird? Or, or will it not work? Or will smoke come out from under my seat? Who knows? We break our car so you don't have to. Right, let's get this seat out and have a look what we're doing. So here is the beast in question. So actually sat piggyback on top is the, the KVM, the keyless vehicle module. So that does all, that's what your keys are coded to. And you can see underneath we have got this module here. This is the sort of PIVI, I think they call it an ICU or something. Um, infotainment control unit. Now, um, so we're going to just Take this off now, to get here, I've disconnected the battery. If we're unplugging and plugging things, always a good idea to disconnect the battery under this seat. And obviously, because I've had to remove the seat so we can all see what's happening, you could probably do this without removing the seat, but it's easier. Um, there's airbags in the seat. So obviously if I had the battery connected, it would get all upset because these airbags are disconnected. Right, so now we need to get, uh, let's, let's take these two bolts off first. I guess we don't, we can unbolt this. I guess there's no point in unplugging the connectors, but luckily they got those nice little flange nuts. Look, a handy tray there. Let's have that one off. Now, so that then comes off. He's pretty tight on that. Okay, and that we can tuck that out the way. So now you can start to see all the other connections. Um, now there's a cage that goes over this. So let me just buzz off these. I think all four of them probably. Now that cage is removed, so I think we can start to sort of lift that out then. So we're just on these connections. Now, this top bit comes off. I'll show you on this one. Now I haven't had this off, but I took it off on mine when I first had the car by mistake. It's got like these, these tricky sort of things and quarter turn, or well, more than quarter turn by the looks of it. And then this top bit comes out. Now I don't know what it is, but I think this is the bit that's, program because inside here there should be a uh, like a sim card but not an actual sim card it's what they call an e-sim let me just fight this off so yeah it lifts off so now it may be that we this might have some coding to the car it looks like they've made it so this unit could perhaps be generic and this is coded to the car i don't know so that that's a sort of that's a, a plan we could look at but i don't want to mess my own car up too much they all they they all come out relatively easy actually i've got to be honest i i seem to recall having a problem doing that one and giving up but that's not too bad right so always right remember which one's ours george so this one's pv i'm pf for powerful look so there's our part number there i might need that myself so I'll get it in the video always handy Do you know sometimes i have to watch my own videos to learn stuff imagine right so this is a PV, so it's not a PF, but it's got the same engineering number. It's still 19L300. So let me reconnect all this. Then I'm gonna have to position the seat back. Otherwise the airbag light will get excited. Just rest it back in and then connect it up. So here goes. So I've plugged the seat connectors in. You can see here, one, two, three. We've put the battery back on. Right, and let's see 
the car should still start up. Okay, so we let it just warm itself up a bit. So you can see we've got no PIVI screen at all. But let's try the terrain response. So if I press this and turn it, yeah, I can see in the instrument cluster, as I turn it, you can see above the P if it focuses. There you go. Right, as if I if I rotate the press the terrain select, you can see it's got the fir tree there. There you go, cactus. Okay. It's a bit slow, but it does. There you go, wade mode. Um, suspension up so so the terrain response still works which is pretty cool I'm trying to think what else we need. obviously we've got no radio we've got so we've got no infotainment um, we've got no parking cameras reverse cameras I wonder if the reverse sensors still work I'm right against the I'm right against the door there no oh it's it's not happy because I've got the doors open and everything um, so we've got some functionality. We can still start and drive the car. We've got no sound. We've still got the terrain modes. So let's pull out. You see, I haven't connected the the new one in. Let's let's take, disconnect the battery so I don't blow anything up. And let's plug it in and see what we get with this Evoke one. Right, so it's all plugged in. Notice we don't have a green connector. I didn't notice when I was unplugging it, but I did check and we, for some reason, I wonder what, what the... Look, we've got... Oh! I've got good afternoon man Fuha. Now that's not me. So obviously man Fuha had an evoke two. So if you had an evoke two and you were called man Fuha, let us know. Um, do you reckon it'll have all his phone numbers and weird stuff in there? I don't know. In terms of you skip guest, um, let's start it up. So. <laughs> Go. we've got all the navigation it's all come up it's searching um absolute 90s that sounds like that would have been my radio station doesn't it maybe me and man fuha are loving the same music right let's let the car pipe down a bit should we try first george is itching to try let's try the cameras it still it doesn't it still shows a defender now i think the cameras are controlled by the near field sensing module which is under that footwell so that's all good Right, let's 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 go on. Let's go open some apps and have a look what we've got. So we've got all Apple CarPlay. Let's go dimensions. Vehicle dimensions on yeah, the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's have a look what that shows. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't out of a thingy. Oh dear, poop. Look, so so that's got. What's that? That's a Disco Five. Isn't that it? is a Disco Five. Yeah. So maybe it wasn't out. Maybe Man Fuha drives a Disco Five. So clearly now, whether we can reconfigure that or not, I don't know. Um, what? So that's weird, isn't it? So the cameras is right. What about Wade sensing? Let's have a look what Wade sensing. Okay. Yes. So it's Disco Five Wade sensing. So right then. So but it, right. Does the radio work? Can we get the radio to work? Yes. So we've got radio. We've got phone. We've got everything. We've just not got the right now. Now, 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 now. Do we try swapping that top bit over and blowing it up? There's no smoke coming out of there yet, is there, George? So I reckon we'll disconnect the battery again and we'll swap that little, what are we gonna call it? That little- Pod. Pod that docks into the top. And we'll see whether that gives us the other. God, this is exciting. Well, for me. <laughs> now I don't wanna GDPR violate anybody here and I think I'm okay, but the guy must have lived in Church Road, Clulilivden, which is wherever that is, near Stockton on Tees, it would look like. He'd be up north with his little Discovery 5. So I don't think so. I think that's where we are. It says that's what, look at the... Oh, yeah. It thinks we're there. Does it think we're there? And then it's trying to take us to down by London. You're right, George. I don't know my job. Oh, has it, has it done something? Burma Road. I think it's going off the latest. I think it was where it was last powered on. Yes. It, it thinks it's so wherever the breakers were that broke this last powered on point was there. Um, so that's quite interesting. I think it's probably because we're inside. It's got no GPS reception. I'm guessing. Yeah. Um, well, you can see that from up there. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, is that because 
But that's got a cross through it, hasn't it? Is that because it's now not working? Is that, have we lost the mobile phone capability? Um, connect phone, maybe we've got to connect the phone and do all that stuff. I think it would all work. We'll maybe play with that in a minute. But for now, I was gonna try swapping those top pods over. Right, disconnect the battery. So that's the one I've taken off my car now. Did it look like that one on the other one? I can't remember the pink pad. Well, let's put that down carefully there. We've got to remember, battery disconnected, so we're not going to fry anything. I probably should have electrostatic discharge stuff on me. But let's have a go. Right that's, right, that's that one. It's like open heart surgery. Oh, it feels that way. Right, don't mix them up. Right, mine's got the green dot. Remember that? Mine has got the green dot. Right, which way? Wide connector, small connector. Okay, I've got no idea if any of this is going to work. But we blow our car up. Right, let's put the battery on. Look, good afternoon, Simon. So some of that data has obviously come over from that top. I'm not through whoever he was. This, this could be the move. Right, connect phone. So should we go on recent, George? And say, well, let's have a look at parking. I've got to wait for it to warm up. It's, well, it's connected to my phone already, so clearly that's been saved. Yes, it? it's yes. So it looks like it's that is the whole the whole intelligence is in there, right? Come on, come on, come on. Right, here we go. Here we go. Vehicle dimensions. Where's it gone? It's moved. Vehicle dimensions. It has moved, hasn't it? Ah. Now, obviously, it's got some error um, because obviously, I think it's 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 a yeah, bit it's, mixed up. <laughs> it's a bit mixed up now, so we'll forgive it that. So that's vehicle dimensions, and then weight sensing. It's probably. Got, I imagine we'll have the same. Issue. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing the same. Is it going? So yes. there we go. So you've lost weight sensing, but everything else seems to be okay. Now, interestingly, look, we've got the phones all connected now. Obviously, well, that's because connected to my phone. To your phone. So um, I think we're okay. And if we go on navigation and go recents, um, in fact, let's go on the home and have we got the navigation? It still says Darlington, weirdly. Um, so the main unit still thinks it's in Darlington. But if we go home, um, yes, so it's got my home, so it knows where we are, but it still thinks I'm in Darlington or something. There you go. Yes. So, so, so when we get outside, I think that will resolve itself. But swapping that top over, is there any smoke coming out of it yet, George? All good down here. All good down here. So there we go. So we now need to try and get that unit out to our friend who lives. I'll be giving it away, won't I? Who lives on the other side of the world from us before he goes on a camping trip on the 8th of January and today's the 3rd. So keep following and let's see um, whether we can get that unit. At least he can go camping and do all his, all his stuff. Right, prices. I'll put some prices on the screen. So that unit and the part number is like two and a half thousand pounds. Now, I can't remember what I paid for that one. I hundred think, pounds? I think it was around a hundred pounds or a hundred. I'll put the eBay thing on there where I bought it from and how much I paid for it. So it looks like I might have got him out of trouble, albeit without a couple of dimensions. So hopefully this will help people. Right, last moment of discussion before we leave and go home for the weekend, because it's Friday night, I'm working on, everyone else has gone home, George is helping me. Is that a good place? to put the infotainment two and a half thousand pound control unit on an off-road Land Rover. George is gonna say something. I was gonna say no, in the boot would make more in sense. In the boot or in a sidewall or up. So yeah, maybe not great. Right, final check. All back together, all the seats back in, everything's good, no faults, everything's good. Please refuel. There you go. It's got me up. It's got everything. Um, don't worry about my phone. Um, just have a look if it's got all the dimensions back. Okay. Vehicle dimensions. Okay. Oh no, have I lost my vehicle dimensions? Okay. Oh no. Oh, I'll have to work out how to get those back. I know what it is. I think it's because I've changed that model year. To 2020 i'm gonna to have to go to 2023 and then back to 2020 um 
so it's a slight world of pain but nothing nothing too bad and it helps you guys out there in the community so i'm happy to have a bit of pain so there we go good luck with that and hopefully you don't get water in your thing right one thing i've just noticed is that there is a battery inside the um infotainment unit so i've just removed the battery cover here now if i'm going to post this i can't post things with batteries in um so let's have a look what how you get this out i'm doing this one-handed now at my desk it looks like that should pull up so there you go so that is an infotainment battery so yeah that's worth noting i don't know what problems that will give in future if these batteries pack up but there you go there's the battery i better remove that before shipping and remember don't open the doors when you're in a flood get out the window or the tailgate or the sunroof that we haven't got right have a good weekend and i'll catch you guys later